Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.6 Beta 1, when it's going to get released and what all new features and changes we are going to see on the iOS 17.6. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys. And if you do not want to miss these, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on notifications. Let's get right into this video. Alright, so Apple will be releasing the iOS 17.6 Beta 1 really, really soon. The day I'm recording this video, it is 28th of May today. Now let's talk about the release date and just clear it out real quick. The release of iOS 17.6 Beta 1 is expected most likely to be today, Tuesday. If not today, we will definitely see it later this week. Anyways, let's talk about the new features and changes that are expected to arrive on the iOS 17.6. But you know what is more interesting than iOS 17.6 Beta? one yes ladies and gentlemen wwdc 24 ios 18 i am coming up with ios 18 videos side by side as well so make sure to check those out as well we are not gonna see any major features or any big overhauls on the ios 17 update as of now because ios 18 is right around the corner and apple do not tend to release any big changes and any new features on any updates which are clashing between the release of latest firmware because it just takes away a particular amount of limelight from the latest update. A very small portion of it, but yeah, this is what it is. So yeah, we are not going to have any major changes in terms of features or any major overhaul on iOS 17.6. So if you were looking forward to any new features or big changes on iOS 17.6, sorry to break your heart, you are not going to see any big changes or features on iOS 17.6 but that doesn't mean that we are not going to see anything new. We are definitely going to see a lot of improvement on iOS 17.6 and some changes as well. The biggest change that we are going to see and improvement that we are going to see is in terms of battery life. We have had a lot of complaints in terms of battery life on iOS 17.5 and 17.5.1. So Apple is definitely going to work and make the battery life better on the iOS 17.6 versions. This doesn't mean or does not translate that beta 1 onwards the battery life will be better. But yeah, the major focus on the battery life will be there and it will be seen from the beta one onwards so i'm really excited for it because battery life is something which is a really crucial part of our iphones and i really want apple to fix the battery drain issue on iphones and especially older iphones then the small bug fixes and all will be there of course performance has not really been an issue for me on the ios 17.5.1 so i don't really expect anything new in terms of that the only biggest problem that i have been facing on ios 17.5.1 regarding less of whatever i try to do to fix it temporarily or permanently is notification syncing bug the notification syncing bug has been here for me not for everyone but yeah there are some people including me who have been facing this issue that is the notifications have been coming delayed on your iphone or sometimes on your watch if you have been using your apple watch and your iphone together and it is paired on cellular then your watch will get the notification first and your iphone will just not show the notification on the lock screen or your iphone will get the notification your watch won't show it this delayed bug and notification bug has been here on the ios 17.5.1 let me know down in comments below are you guys facing this issue on your iphone or not i have been facing it and i think that apple should definitely work and resolve this issue as soon as possible then talking about the next bug that is wi-fi disconnection bug wi-fi disconnection what do i mean by that this bug what this bug does is a lot of people do not really even realize this is whenever you are connected to a wi-fi and the wi-fi slows down not to a certain point that you won't be able to use it but for example if i'm getting 100 mbps and it will slow down to suppose 50 mbps 50 mbps is not bad at all i can still manage and use it but it will automatically change the wi-fi settings and turn off the wi-fi 
and connect to cellular even when my load data mode and my wi-fi assist feature is turned off this bug was never there it i never experienced this on any firmware but on ios 17.5.1 so this will also be resolved on the ios 17.6 well that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in the very next episode let me know down in comments below what features and changes are you guys expecting on the ios 17.6 this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace out and have a great day everyone